Here's my new 2019 Billy Goat Z3000. They also make an X3000. This is the Z3000, which is the 35 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. This is the biggest, baddest blower on the planet that they make. Billy Goat has a whole line of walk-behind blowers. They have the largest um, line of walk-behind blowers of anyone. And Briggs and Stratton bought out the Hurricane lineup. And now Briggs makes the Hurricane models and they make the Ferris models. You can also get a Ferris, a Ferris um, X300 or a Z300. Same machine, just the Ferris is the maroon red. And then the Billy Goat is more of like a Kubota orange, um, almost a brighter color than the Ferris red or the old Hurricane red. Um, it came with the LED headlight and then I added my safety strobes as I do on all my equipment. And on this machine, um, this is equivalent to about 10 to 12 backpack blowers. You have 8,500 CFM and you can blow air out of the left side, which this is a fixed vent. This vent um, is open or closed and it's controlled by the throttle speed, by your idle. Same thing with the front vent, that is open or closed and that's controlled by your idle RPMs. And then the left vent here is special. Um, all the vents will open um, just while the key is on. You have this joystick here for um, open um, or close. I'll show you that. So right here, you have open, close all, open, open. If I have the left vent open, and I want to open the right vent. You don't have to go to close all first. If the left vent's open, you can just go right to open the right vent when you get to the end of a parking lot, and then the other vent will close automatically. So you don't always have to go back to close all every time. You just go to open whatever vent you want to, and it'll close the one before that. So when I open this vent, I have a gauge. A gauge um, basically, it's a um, depth gauge, basically, so I can see how much the vent is open. Like when that um, bar is all the way up there, that metal bar, that tells me that the vent is opened all the way. If I wanna have it only open halfway, then you know, the, from up here at the operator control panel, you would just look and see that bar um, halfway open. So as I was saying, the other two vents are opened or closed. This one is more special because you can control basically how much um, wind you want directed really close to the machine. So as you can see, and then this vent opens automatically with the force of the wind, but it won't pull it up past that point um, on where you have that set. So what's cool about that is, you know, if you're moving egg, egg corns or a lot of leaves really close up and maybe you don't want to have all that blowing power 10 feet away from the machine, maybe you want it to be only literally six inches from that vent, you can do that. Um, and that's all done right by this. You can see that opening and closing. And that other louver there will open automatically with wind. So that's how that works. Um, we have an external oil filter here. Batteries in on the other side. where the battery is right in here I have a battery tender I put on there to charge it um, air filters in here change the oil after the first uh, 10 hours after that um, you know with mobile one you can do once a season the machine comes with an hour meter right now I have 2.5 hours on it and while the machines running it'll actually show the rpms so what as you throttle up and down you can also always see what RPM you're at. Um, low oil alert. Now there is no fuel gauge. Um, you would think that with the money you pay for these that they would put a fuel gauge on it. The reason why they don't do it is because of cost. Um, but they had the opportunity to make something you know really good. That's probably the only thing I would say it's missing. However it is a 10 gallon tank so when you fill this up you're not gonna have to worry about you know getting low for a long time so maybe that's why they did it also it is actually really easy to look inside this type of tank there's no um there's no filter on top or screen so you can actually look in there pretty easy to see how much fuel is left so that's okay um, very big tires now if you get the x3000 that is a smaller engine um, and also it has smaller tires not only are the front tires are smaller and the rear tires are smaller on that and that top speed is about eight or nine miles an hour where this top speed is 11 miles an hour 
out of the 35 horsepower Briggs, which is the biggest Briggs engine they make. Um, so yes, it's quite a beast. It's, you know, this is not something for the average homeowner. This is something for a commercial guy who's doing a lot of leaf jobs or big fields. Um, this is definitely great to use on turf. It'll climb hills. It'll do all your leaves, but also it's meant for municipalities and parks and towns who, um, you know, maybe have a bike path they want to clear rocks and stones of or big parking lots. That's what this machine will really uh, excel at. So it beats all the walk behind pushing you would have to do with a walk behind blower where it can get very tired if you're pushing uphill. And even the walk behind Billy Goat blower that I have in my previous video, although it has self propelled wheels, that's only going to help you going forward. When you get to the end of your line, it's time to go back. You have to manually drag that in reverse, you know, your whole whole way back to where you started on your line so that's really cool but for this machine even though it has reverse I don't ever anticipate having to blow in reverse because since unlike a walk behind blower I can blow out both sides of the unit so when I get to the end of my line I can just switch to the other side of the vent and uh, blow back the other way down a parking lot or down a field so that eliminates the need to have to blow in reverse now, as you can see, these um, beautiful strobe lights here, these are the Whelan um, Super Ion T linear LED. Um, you know, when you're using this out in parking lots and stuff, you don't want a car to mistake it as a lawnmower passing by. You want someone to know that you're actually out here working, doing business. You don't want any, any cars driving near uh, the receiving end of these uh, vents when you're blowing a lot of dust and rocks and stones. Um, so I have these so people know, you know, it's a working machine that's actively working. So when I turn those on, you know, I want people to uh, back up and keep away. <laughs> um, and these lights, um, I got these waterproof electrical boxes. I thought that would be the best way to mount the lights as it does a clean look to keep all the wires in here. And there's four different colored wires on these lights, um, you know, for the sink wire, the ground wire, the hot wire, and also... Um, the other wire is um, for changing the flash patterns. So by do having all those wires and wire nuts in here, everything is in a watertight box. And I also didn't have to drill through the machine because I used both of these bar handles here have two um, bolts at the bottom. So I was able to uh, screw through those same bolt holes so I didn't have to actually drill through the machine. So that worked out really good. And like I said, they make the wheel and ion uh, a couple different versions. This is the Ion T linear, so it is the brightest of the Ion family. Um, and Whelan's a very great uh, brand of warning and safety lights. We have an on off switch here, and there's a fuse in here for that. And then there's also this is the momentary switch. And these lights have 25 different flash patterns. And if you check out my next video, you will see all different 25 flash patterns and what they look like. You press the momentary to go to the next flash pattern or you hold it in to go back to the previous pattern or while it's off and I apply power to the momentary switch and turn this on at the same time, that'll make it go back to the default flash pattern. Any pattern you of the 25 that you leave it on, it'll stay on whatever pattern you last left it on. Um, also, uh, let's see, what else did we not cover? Very comfortable padding here. Um, you got the hydro oil down here. Um, use only mobile one, 1550 synthetic. This is very comfortable actually on your legs. Um, like I said, I got 2.5 hours on the machine so far. Very happy with it, very happy with the power. And uh, if you have any questions, um, feel free to um, write them in the comments below. And I'd be happy to answer them. Where did the machine come from? It came from Emrix Sales and Service, um, emrixsales.com. I shopped around at some places and uh, they were beyond um, willing to match prices. And um, I would highly recommend buying anything from them, from Kubota tractors um, to any other farm equipment stuff that you need. They're, um, they carry many different brands and they happen to be a very large Billy Goat dealer. And they offer free delivery on anything you buy there within 50 miles so like i said the sales department there kw he'll really take good care of you and um, if you're looking at getting one of these machines around the upstate new york area i would definitely recommend emrick sales and service and like i said this machine although it's new this year by billy goat um, the design is pretty much bulletproof um, this hurricane design has been around a long time and it's been you know changed a little bit over the years and this is a good proven 
engine, the 35 horsepower Vanguard Briggs and Stratton. It's used on the um, Billy Goat Leaf machines, the Leaf vacuums as well, on the largest model, I should say. And um, this is the same exact unit as the new Ferris X3000 and Z3000 that you see. And I chose the Billy Goat for two reasons. It was a little bit cheaper for whatever reason. Um, and my dealer, the Emrex Sales and Service, they're also a Ferris dealer. And um, this, for whatever reason, was a couple hundred dollars cheaper than the Ferris for, you know, distributor reasons more so. And also, I just like the Kubota orange color that the Billy Goat is. And speaking of Kubota orange, that's actually the color that I painted these electrical boxes was Kubota spray paint orange. And it matched the Billy Goat color just about perfectly. You would never even tell that it was aftermarket. And um, I got this machine on February... 15th so I actually placed the order on this before then and I was I think one of the first people in the area or anywhere that got their hands on one of these machines I was eyeing them for a long time and then I heard that Billy Goat and Ferris were gonna be making them so I wanted the Billy Goat one but yes I got it on February 15th and uh, very happy with it and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below